Uh, Parkrun's really inclusive. It's for everybody, from uh, you know, 15-minute runners down to 35-plus-minute runners. For families, for kids, for everyone. Um, you don't feel like you shouldn't be running. You feel like you should be running every week. And yourself? Parkrun. I don't know. It's a strange. It's a strange thing happening when you join a parkrun. It feels like you know you just met a new family, and it's an extra motivation just to just to keep fit. That's why I do. Um, it's my first park run in Cardiff today. And where do you normally run? Running at Richmond Park Run. It's quite undulating, so I'm quite looking forward to doing a flat one today. Yeah. So have, how far have you come to be here? Uh, from London. Around London. Yeah. Not. not uh, sorry, I'm staying in Cardiff for the weekend. Right. Right. You've got a lovely park to run around. No, I love it. I'm looking forward to it. Excellent. Thank you very much indeed. Because I love running and it's a great atmosphere, it's full of like really friendly people and every week you always bump into people you know who also love running, so it's a great way to start the weekend. Uh, yes, for the uh, social aspect of it and for the fitness benefits of it um, and I like to travel around various areas of the country and take in a park run as well at different venues. What's your PB? <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> like 30, 30 minutes ish. That's okay. But I've done a lot. I've we done be, a lot. I've, well, got, the, look, I've got the golden t shirt. How'd you get a golden t shirt? Uh, 250 runs. So you've done that already. Well yeah, done. Yeah, I'm up to about 300 now. <laughs> <laughs> but I just plod along in my own way. It's beautiful way. It seems so infectious, isn't it? Oh, it's, as a concept, it's just absolutely marvellous. And to see the young ones, where, you know, I'm from Middlesbrough on North East Coast. And the children we have taking part is just wonderful, absolutely wonderful. To see them, you know, growing up and getting fit <laughs> instead yeah. of sitting doing this. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm the best. Why? I haven't done this really for about six months. So, so tell, me, tell me about what you've been doing in Park Run then. Um, just come up here, you run on a Saturday morning, it's a way of improving your fitness. You enjoy it, do you? Yeah, I do. I mean, I usually had football on Saturday morning, so this is the first time being able to come up here for a while. Yeah. So I've got a game today, so... Why park run? Uh, just to keep fit, you know, it was a bit of a competition as well, and it? it pushes you a little bit more. So. How long have you been doing it for? Uh, about 15 weeks, I think. So. Improving? I have been, but the last couple of weeks I've uh, dropped off a bit. So. <laughs> Why is that? Um, drinking. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a brilliant run. It's really nice to get up on a Saturday morning and have loads of people who enjoy doing the same thing, getting together. Um, and so I've set you up for the day, really. It's a brilliant park run. What's your, what's your PB? Uh, 2020. Okay. So one, um, one day under 20 minutes. <laughs> and what do you hope to do today? Uh, today a slightly slower one, maybe around 22. Okay. Um, second. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna um, to improve my um, my 5k. Yeah. What's your PB at the moment? Um, 15.33. So you beat, beat that today? Yeah? Um, I don't think so today. I'm not feeling raw, but. I'm just going to do it for fun today. How are you anyway? Sorry, I've got about this. Are you going to Costa Coffee at all? Yeah, I'll see you there. That's right, I won't see you in there. So if you're with me. Like Ollie about. Oh, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing Cardiff Park Run? <laughs> um, just because it's, um, you know, it's a good bit of exercise. Uh, I can do it every week and just to enjoy the atmosphere, really. Um, instead of going for norm I normally do a run in the week, but get good, good atmosphere here and... Yeah, it gives you an incentive to um, push personal bests and yeah, and it's just good fun. <laughs> Trees in a way. Stop. <laughs> 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 
So this is your 20 minutes of peace and quiet, is it, while they're all out running? <laughs> it is, yeah, maybe a little bit less than 20 minutes. Our first runners will come in around 16 minutes today, I think. And the yeah. latest? And the, the last one will be probably about 45 to 50 minutes. So there's a huge variety of uh, shapes and sizes and abilities here. So you're not running yourself? I'm not running myself today, no, I'm saving it for tomorrow. Oh, what, are you doing, <laughs> what are you doing tomorrow? I'm doing the Richard Burton 10K race tomorrow. Excellent. Good so luck. Uh, I'll Good save luck. my energies for that. I'm keeping the horns on. I'm keep, yeah, I might keep my horns on. <laughs> anything, anything to run faster. Brilliant. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is quite a big thing, then. Yeah, we two weeks ago we had 705. So yeah, we're now the third biggest. Um, Bushy Park, the original one, I think they're 1100, um, and then I think Hull have got 770, um, and then so we're on 705, and I think the next one then, so about mid 600s. Can it get bigger? Uh, no, what, what we're looking to do, because it's such a narrow area um, around here, um, when we started, we started. February 2008 um, we started uh, with 56 runners it took us a year to reach 100 runners so never expected to get anywhere near these numbers so what we're trying to do is set up a second uh, one in Cardiff where um, else? down at Grangemore um, down there so the council have said yes we can have the course um, but starting up a new park run, we've got to raise £3,000 um, to go towards the setup costs. So that's our stumbling block at the moment is raising that. So, when you say setup costs, what, what's involved in setting up? Um, it's basically that, that goes to Park Run, which is their HQ is in up in London. Uh, basically, the th they say they match the if you set up events, we've got to provide £3,000 and they'll sort of match that with their work then for that we get a um, kit to set up so we, whether it's cones sort of posts so you can s set up gear um, a laptop um, a timer um, the scanner all, all the stuff needed to run the event then it's the setting up of the website um, so it, it's, it's all those sort of keeping all the costs. scores together I think yeah yes um, but, and then they so it goes towards the ongoing sort of costs um, of it uh, if we need anything then obviously we have to apply to, to London to get um, the equipment through from Park Run um, so it, it, it's towards the, the running of the event continual running of the event How do people who are not involved in Park Run get involved? Um, if if you want to run it, it's, either way it's fairly easy, you can just go on to the main website is uh, parkrun.com. Um, if you want to run then you just register, it's all totally free, there, there's no money uh, changes hands uh, at all. The registration is fairly simple, it's only a few basic um, details, sort of name, date of birth, just so you can get an age category and that sort of thing and then you get a barcode, you get allocated a barcode which you then print off and bring every morning, well, every Saturday morning um, and it could be to any of the park runs, that's not exclusive to just here in Cardiff there's over 200 park runs in the UK um, and the other countries that got set up so you can go to any of the, the, the venues and your barcode works so that, that's that side and if you want to volunteer then again go on to the um, Cardiff page 
So if you go onto parkrun.com, you can do the events and go onto the page, and there's a link then, a volunteers um, link, and you just put your sim forward. Okay, next Saturday I want to help um, out and volunteer. Let's see, it's it's all fairly simple system, uh, or how it works. But say it's all uh, voluntary led. I say no payment, no money happens at, at any point on of it from our point of view. And any age group as well. Can any take age part. group, yeah, it's. Um, Anyone under 14 is sort of categorised as sort of a junior, um, and they come up. But yeah, we've, I think, I don't know the exact age, but we've had some right tots sort of uh, to go round, and we've got one of the guys who regularly comes is sort of mid 70s. Um, so yeah, and any ability, um, let's try and advertise it. It's from beginner to Olympian. Um, the event, because it's not a race, it's a, it's a timed run. Um, so Park Run are quite adamant that that's the way it's it's sold. Um, it's here every week. It's you against the clock, basically. So it's, it's a timed run, and you can. It's there for how you want to use it. We get some of the quick boys come down. They'll use it as part of the training, sort of a blast out. Um, so, and then you get others come down. It's their first step. Maybe haven't run since they've been in school or, or never run, and it's their way of trying to get fit um, on the fitness. So that they, they're using it as their stepping stone. Um, so say yeah, it's it's there for everyone, everyone to use how they want to use it. This is quite before the storm. Yes. Yeah, we get to it's probably about the 22 minutes. And then it will just be, and then just ramming it, and then just shouting, it's all right, just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. We have so how problems. do you actually count how they've come in there? Uh, there's, when they finish, get finish, get one of those, which is uh, their, their position. Yep. 801, hope we don't get up to that today. Uh, no, so you've got to hand that one of those to everybody who comes in? Yes. Wow. Okay. So there'll be somebody stood on the line here who takes the time of everybody who finishes. Um, John gives out then finished discs. They'll go through to the end and they have their own barcode just to get printed off. That gets scanned with the position, so it ties up the name of the position. And then afterwards, either myself or one of the boys who've been doing it for me the last couple of weeks, feed, feed that in with the times and the watch into the computer and it, it merges them up. It so then gives, yeah. gives the results, so it gives them the time um, alongside the position. So, yeah, so it, must, really it must get quite busy at some, at some point. Yeah. Then. <laughs> Obviously, it's sort of saw the start of that. That's our biggest concern because this is a narrow area that all that people. But we've had to sort of develop with that uh, over the time how we've managed that. And I think we. It takes a lot of sort of manpower in terms of marshals and everything in order to keep it under control. But I think we've got it as good as we're going to going to get it keeping the party because the cyclists are our biggest problem. This is me standing um, in the way. And then at the finish, you have the same sort of issue because people tend to finish and then stand and chat. So it, it's trying to keep the path. We've had to work, we used to sort of finish here and then we used to registration was all on that side. We used, so we've had to create this funnel now. The, the funnel is sort of near enough 100 metres long, which we've had to create like the airport security zigzag mm. just in order to cope with the numbers and even some weeks we're sort of backing up towards the finish line so it's and it's cope yeah, so, it's, <laughs> so that's why I need so many marshals there and just mm. keeping them moving right you know, just keep moving through keep moving through and so, yeah, it's, it, it takes some work but we get there so it's been a huge success then isn't it yeah yeah the numbers yeah so gone. really surpassed anything I ever expected mm. It's not somebody just hiding in the bush up there that jumps out. <laughs> no, like. no. <laughs> I'm going to show you. <laughs> 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 and the reason for the headgear? It's Halloween. Ah, oh, right. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm minding it for one of the runners. <laughs> of course you are, yeah. <laughs> Chris? It's mine, it's mine. Come on in. Chris, come here.
Chris, come here. Oh, don't make it. So you're what they call the dark horse, are you? You never said you were out to win when I spoke to you earlier on. Yeah, indeed. Good run? It was, it was, yeah. All the way I was leading in and then it was setting sorry three, but it was it was in that great. Yeah. yeah. At least you beat the others. Yeah. I did. I <laughs> well, did, yeah. well done. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Tell me about why you, why you do park run. Um, I love park run. It's like an opportunity to have a good quality run and um, not have to pay. And it's you know it's organised and you get a free time, so it's just brilliant for everybody. So what was your time today for five? Um, I think it was around about seventeen forty six, so about a second off my PB. So I'm happy with that. And you were the youngest winner so far. Yeah. yeah by far. <laughs> it's my brother just coming in now. Is he older or younger than me? Um, a bit younger than me. Two Good. years, 21 months younger. So as long as you keep in front of him, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Take care, what was your time, eh? Can I do a quick interview? Happy with your run? No. No, well, yeah, I'm happy because I helped for one man to run faster. But you were pace making. Excellent, okay, <laughs> good. Thank you much indeed. So, happy with your time? Not too, not too bad. But, uh, not one of my quickest. But, uh, so what affects, what affects timing? Oh, how much training you've done in the week? How are you feeling on the day? The weather, all sorts of things. So she trained during the week then, sir? Yes, and I did quite a long run on Thursday. You still, feel it? Still my legs this morning, yes. yeah. yeah. <laughs> quite stiff. You'll be back next week? Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks so much, yes. cheers. Okay. How are you feeling? Okay. <laughs> all right? <laughs> Tell us how you're feeling. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Dawn, is it a record? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. 
<laughs> you haven't even broken sweat. <laughs> How are you feeling? Awful! <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, I'm filming, surprise, surprise! <laughs> Who's I run up against? Okay, advice to people, you don't have a curry the night before. <laughs> Not good! <laughs> nice to see you. And you, thank you. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. How did you get on? 27 minutes. 27 minutes, that's alright. Is it PB or? No, not PB. So why, why do you do this? Because it's fun. You do it every week? Yeah, I do it every week. It's fun. It's enjoyable. I've got my other running. Good, yeah. good. And you'll be back next week? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you said somebody did it on crutches last week? Yeah. I don't know why. Don't tell me they won. No, 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 no. It's Please. cheating, isn't it? An hour and oh, opposite. Four. Came last. Hour and, <laughs> hour and four minutes. Hour and four minutes. And everyone had to stay behind for that, did they? Yeah, some while, some of them. So the guy on the clock had to. Yeah. Someone did it in crutches. In crutches. Through the queue. Come here. Come here. You worn out. Are you worn out? No, you don't talk to me. Okay. <laughs> well, was it worth it? Oh, Tell wonderful. Me. Tell wonderful. Me about it. <laughs> I found it tougher than last week. This is our second week doing it. Oh. I found it tough. We did the one in Newport last week, didn't we? Yeah, feels better than uh, last week. Don't feel so much aching so much. Right. Yeah. And it's sunny. And have you been practicing? Not, well, not really, no. I did a run on Tuesday evening. And that was, I think it was about 4K. That was all right. Enjoyed that. What's better, this one or the Newport one? <laughs> I don't know, I wouldn't say there's... They're slightly there's, different, aren't they? Uh, the only thing I found was, as, as you, you get to the fork in the path, the, the, the people trailing at the back, like, uh, like us, were sort of restricted speedways because we're, we're having to hold back for the the faster guys who are already coming through before you fork off, you know, so... Uh, Gives you a chance to chip them up, though, doesn't it? Well, <laughs> that's not very sportsman like, <laughs> is it? <Yeah. laughs> but other than that, yeah. But we went wrong on the course last week, didn't we, yeah. at Newport? And we ended up doing about six and a half yeah. K, I think. So. Yeah, they all say that. <laughs> <laughs> so nice to see you. Oh, that's brilliant. All right. Hello there. Can Hi. I do a quick interview with you? Yeah, go on. There's, 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 there's a man there. No, no, no. <laughs> I used to run. No, he's, he's been running he's for years. He's a runner, mate, not me. <laughs> go on, carry on. That's carry not on. what I've heard. The lady, the lady over there in the mo, she says you're... Oh, oh, don't listen to that. Don't you listen to these women. <laughs> <laughs> she says you're her nemesis because she can never beat you. <laughs> Is this for radio? Yeah. Yeah. Um, made in Cardiff TV. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah cause oh, what they've, great. What they've got on at the moment is total bollocks. Right, total so you feel like bollocks. This is great you're doing So they this. said, um, go and get something decent. So it's easy to come down here. Well, I'm not decent. With the Cardiff half coming up as well, you know, you know in, uh, in the world's half marathon, in yeah. a year and a half. This yeah. is, yeah. Well, it, it, I mean, the thing is, nothing on that channel is, is local. Yeah, is right, And right. so, I mean, I don't want to see about clairvoyance in bloody Bristol. No, do you? no. <laughs> anyway, so why, why do you do, why do, you do uh, Cardiff Park Run? Oh, it's a great run. It fetches everybody out, whether you're a runner or a jogger. You know, you all come out and enjoy yourself, innit? Yeah. It's How long have you been doing it for? Oh, since it started. Yeah. Oh, but a couple of years ago. It started, um, 50 odd was a, a big field, but now, how much is it? Oh, it's 500. 700 a few weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. 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 Can, I, can I ask your age? 78. 78. A yeah. young 78. Pardon? A young 78. Pardon? <laughs> 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 and what's your PB? Oh, 26. That's years ago, mate. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, well done. Nice and pleasure to have met you. Thank, Thank you. you very much, sir. <laughs> this lady. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, say it again. You did the Snowden Marathon last yeah. Oh, you did the Snowden no. Marathon? Yeah. You did tell me that when I spoke to you before. <laughs> yeah. yeah well. Three, yes. how, what did you time you do? Well, we got six hours, but it's a really hard marathon. Mm. Well done. Yeah. Well Thanks. done. Right. You beat Roy, did you? Sorry? You beat Roy? I think so. Which Roy? 
you know, with the beard. <laughs> See you then. See you later on. Tear up. I'm sure you've heard the story from other people who started about six and a half years ago in Cardiff, just gone from strength to strength, as it has everywhere else really, uh, not just in the UK but throughout the world. And um, when you get mornings like today, it's not difficult to see why, is it? Fantastic weather, you know, incredible for early November. I don't know how many people ran, but it seemed to be an awful lot, probably six or seven hundred, all enjoying themselves, all the smile on their faces, um, all having fun. Um, there's a healthy agenda as well, which is great to see, it's helping mm. a lot of people. Um, all ages, men and, men and women, boys and girls, um, it's just a real fun activity and um, great to be part of. Um, Are you going to start another one? Um, that's pretty much down, Phil is the person that's, um, that's really behind, because he, he's the one that started this event, so he's the one that's sort of looking at other avenues and so on. I don't know how advanced um, those negotiations are, I'm, I'm sure it will happen, it's a question of when. Um, it's just that inevitably, this isn't just about the runners, it's also about uh, a small and very dedicated team of, of volunteers that help in. So it requires um, a certain amount of commitment by a number of people to actually make that happen. I'm sure that will happen. Um, inevitably, in, in anything in life, it does tend to be the same people that do the volunteering and the same people that do the, uh, the actual participating. Which, which is fine, you know, because we all have different agendas and so on, you know, it wouldn't begrudge anybody having a run and so on. Uh, and there is huge mutual respect, as you can see on the course this morning. Runners inevitably afterwards recognise that people are giving up their time and it's a great family, mm. basically. Yes. It's just lovely. Thank you very much indeed for that. Okay. Brilliant. Okay.
notes. No, physical noises. Oh, your mechanical things are going on there and there at the moment. Oh, they're knocking it down then. Did the website work? Yeah. Yeah. But what do you think of the content? Uh, I didn't go on there afterwards. Yeah. Uh, but did you go on the TV station? Uh, no, I went on the website, but it was just, just nothing there. Yeah. I haven't got a TV. Yeah. Oh, the other thing I've got to ask you is, what do you think of Cardiff? Cardiff, I yeah. love Cardiff. Cardiff is great. You know, it's like there's so many things happening, and you know, I've got I've got so many friends who complain that there's nothing going on in Cardiff, and you know, oh, comparing to London is you know is is so uh, is so not up to standards. But if you want to do things in Cardiff, you're always going to find things to do in Cardiff. You know, like for example, October, November, it's absolutely busy. You know, there's so many festivals going on. You know, you've got uh, made uh, made by hand in uh, in the city hall today, and then you've got contemporary festivals all over it's brilliant you know and then you've got things like parkrun and you know and lots of uh, running events it's like arts and craft and sports it's like it's brilliant excellent thank you and the second question what do you think of cardiff i love cardiff um i went to uni here and that's why i really like enjoy staying after finished uni now um it's a great city and there's loads to do and there's loads of places to run um, and it's just a really nice town to stay in Good luck. And what do you think of Cardiff? Sorry, my microphone's getting a shadow on your face. Um, what, what do you think of Cardiff? As a city or the Cardiff Park Run? The, the, the city as, as a city. It's beautiful. I love it. My, my daughter's at university, so we come down periodically to visit her, and there is always something different to find to do. It's you get the city atmosphere but it is very very close to rural and country areas so within 20 minutes you can be feeling like you're in the middle of nowhere uh, I think the museums and what it has to offer and the fact that the free which is very different to where I'm from um, is wonderful absolutely wonderful Thank you okay you're welcome cheers and the, uh, the other question is what do you think of Cardiff as a city yeah um, in terms of sporting facilities it's great um, there's loads of green space I think we've got most green space per head of any city in the United Kingdom, so yeah, it's great for sport. I think it's on the map in terms of what was what we got. Sapphire Gardens, you've got a world-class stadium. We did have a team in the top two of English football, unfortunately, not anymore. But hopefully, they can get back up there and um, produce lots of good sports with Sam Warburton. Gav Bale, most expensive sportsman ever, so yeah, it's a good time for sporting Cardiff in general. Excellent, thank you very much indeed. Second question, what do you think of Cardiff as a city? Um, it's alright, uh, it's quite busy, you know, a lot of shops. Um, quite... that? You're staying? What's that? You're going to stay? Yeah. Alright, thank you very much indeed, cheers. Question, what do you think of Cardiff as a city? Cardiff is a brilliant city. I moved here three years ago to start studying and absolutely love it. Um, what do you like about it? I like the way it's a really vibrant city with a lot going on. The park's brilliant and it's just such easy access to um, so much really good countryside. So I do a lot of my running up there. Oh, the city. Brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. Good luck. Thank you. Um, second question, what do you think of Cardiff? Oh, I love Cardiff. Um, even the crowded, I love it, and then I love Cardiff, even the um, weather as well, so I like Cardiff, yeah. What other, th what other things do you like about Cardiff, apart from? Um, <laughs> it's a lot of things to, uh, to like uh, Cardiff, um, I just I like the, the people as well, and then the friendly, yeah, so... Um, even I've got a lot of friends here now, and then so I like it. You're gonna stay. Yeah. Good man. <laughs> yeah. Question: What do you think of Cardiff as a city? Um, I like it. Yeah, I like the um sort of cosmopolitan feel about it, and just uh, the variety of um, places you can go and. Yeah, yeah, I like it. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much. What do you want to say? Uh, if, can you give me your Can you give me your email? Oh, yeah, yeah, just, and okay. I'll send you yeah, mine. Yeah. Okay, now yeah. yeah. Gvjones seventy one at gmail dot com. So it's gvjones seventy one at gmail dot com. That's right. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, it's just odd snippets, you know. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Okay, no worries. Yeah. Okay, thank Brilliant. you. Thanks so much, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm Richard Werner, I'll send you an email. Oh, pleasure, and you can just okay. reply to everybody. Might be able to do it straight away, okay. but in a couple of days. Yeah, yeah, fine, okay. fine, fine. Thank fine. you. Yeah. Let's go. Thank you. I'll do it, I'll do it. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Um, um, <laughs> <laughs>